Glory be to God in the highest. It's already the second day of the 11th month. I guess you started on the right note. And um, that's why we spoke yesterday about need help. And I believe as we ask him for help, he will reach out to us in Jesus' name. Friends, we are starting a series today for three days. Lessons from Proverbs 16, 5 to 7. And I'm believing God that uh, we will learn some lessons from there. Let us pray. Father, we thank you because you are God. And thank you because you are the God of 11th hour, 11th month and all seasons. Daddy, please remember us this season and please indeed help us. And, and Lord, let it be known that you are our God by the things that happen in our life for good. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. So friends, I'm going to read the scripture, Proverbs 16, 5 to 7 today, because I might not be reading it every day. It's just for today, tomorrow, and Thursday. So I'm going to read it today, and I'm reading from the Amplified Version, from verse 5, Proverbs 16, 5 to 7. Everyone who is proud and arrogant in heart is disgusting and exceedingly offensive to the Lord. Don't forget that. Be assured he will not go unpunished. Put that to add. Verse 6. Mercy and loving kindness and truth, not superficial ritual wickedness, is cleansed from the heart. He said, by mercy and loving kindness and the truth, not superficial ritual, wickedness is cleansed from the heart, and the fear of the Lord one avoids evil. Verse 7. When a man's way pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Praise the Lord. And that's a big deal. So, you know, friends, most of the time when we look at the things that has happened in our life, our resources, our position, we tend to be arrogant, we tend to be proud. But the Bible says that God will punish those people that operate in that order. And that's why I want to appeal to you, please, eh, just be conscious of who you are and what you do to other people. Because he said God will punish people that are arrogant, people that are proud, people that are not behaving the way the Almighty God expects them. He said they are also disgusting and offensive to God. But you see, why are we saying this? Because we are talking about lessons from this scripture. We are saying this because it is very important. In, in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1 and 2, it says that every one of us, God has given us certain things to do and certain investments in our life, and everybody's going to give an account. So if I'm going to give an account, if God is going to demand from me what I do with what he has given me, and if I'm proud about what he has given me, I'm going to be disgusting to him, and he's going to also punish me, then it's wise. It's great wisdom. To refrain myself from doing that. The Bible says, what is that thing that you have that is not given to you from above? So if you are in an office and you use the office to oppress people, the Bible says you are disgusting to God. If you use your riches, your wealth, your opportunities to be proud of bad people, the Bible says that God does not like you. So, and they are going to give an account. And you know one thing about this life? Galatians 6, 7 says, what a man sow, he will reap. So watch what you sow. Your action, your reaction are seeds. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.